Hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret and Royal Porcelain Week. Well, it was meant to be Royal Porcelain Week, but it's turned into Royal Porcelain Two Weeks, this series, because you've received it so well uh, that I thought I'd continue it for another week. Um, now, I am going to do this series again in the future. It'll probably be next year. I know that sounds like a long way away, but it really isn't. Um, so I'll put a community tab out for all my members. If you're not a member of my channel, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button. And if you want to join and become a member, you can. You are still valued if you can't become a member because if you watch my videos, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of thing, you're still helping this channel. So today we're doing Royal Standard Orlean Orleans Rose China and you can see it's got a beautiful English rose on it so let's recreate this shall we you'll notice with a lot of these soaps a lot of them actually have a white background uh, for the base uh, this one is quite different to the others that I've done so far and it's absolutely stunning So let's blend, shall we? Okay, so just adding some titanium dioxide now. And the fragrance I thought would really work in today's soap is black raspberry and vanilla from Nature's Garden. I've had to choose every single one of these Royal Porcelain videos. I've had to choose fragrances that don't discolour at all. They're really, really hard to find, trust me, if you don't make soap yet. Uh, it's really hard to find uh, fragrances that don't discolour at all. But it seems like I'm managing so far uh, for this Royal Porcelain collection of soaps that I'm doing. Okay, so let's pour.
Now, black raspberry and vanilla does have a bit of acceleration to it. I would call it, call it like a medium acceleration. Right. That's it. Now we just need to let this set overnight and come back tomorrow, give it a cut and then we're going to decorate it with this beautiful design. Again, if I can pull it off. Right, so we have a fabulous gold rim on this soap again. Um, so we're going to spray it with a bright gold mica that's mixed with rubbing alcohol and I've popped it into a spray bottle. If you want to see the video where you see me making this, just click the information card in the top right hand corner or I'll put a link to it in the description box if I remember. I'll remember to put an information card but I'm not so sure I'll remember to put it in the description. So if I do, just place a comment under the video and say, Karen, you forgot to put the link and I'll put it in there. Same with anything that I do. Um, if I get, I forget to put the links in the description box that I say I'm going to, uh, people always let me know in a comment and then I can just put it straight in there. Right, so let's just give this a spray. So what's in this bottle is about um, 70 mils rubbing alcohol to uh, two teaspoonfuls of mica. Okay, so now we're at the point where we're going to leave this overnight to set, well, leave it to saponify because that's the correct terminology and uh, we'll give it a cut tomorrow and we'll create that beautiful design on the front of the bars. I don't want to touch the top because it's got this beautiful gold finish on it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Well, not even a minute, in a couple of seconds. Okay, this is the two loaves out of the liner. It looks like the line is still on, doesn't it? But it's not. Right, let's cut this baby.
okay so on to the next stage what you can see right here is soap door i find it useful to put them in these ziploc bags and just make sure it's all squashed all the way down into the corners so that there's nowhere and then you can just zip up you can just zip lock your bag to squeeze all the air out so I've got a red and a and a green so we're going to take some of the green out you don't need very much just a tiny tiny amount same with the red I might need a little bit more of the red then the other thing I've got is I've just got a little bit of rubbing alcohol in a pot here I've got my alcohol spray because obviously I'm doing multiple soap bars uh, all one after the other but you're just going to see me do one I've got a little bit of red mica with a paintbrush here and that's what I've got the spray for because it is drying out and I just want to re-spray that to make it moist because the rubbing alcohol um, you know does it evaporate off fairly quickly then I've got a green one as well and then the other thing I've got is a stencil now I didn't come up with this idea the brilliant bee at sorcery soap this is her idea so I can't take any credit for it whatsoever um, so I'm actually going to use a, a regular just a regular stencil on my soap um, and I thought the effect is so effective I'd actually already bought stencils which I was going to use for my um, bath bombs actually and then I saw B using stencils on soap and I thought oh well I said to B like what a fantastic idea that I just bought some stencils and um, yeah I'm going to use them on my soap so thank you for that B I'll put a link to B's channel in the description box below the video so I'm just dipping my finger in some of the um, clear rubbing alcohol and I'm just rubbing it all over the face of my soap here just so it softens any outer skin that might have developed on there I think the soap will adhere to it better you can see the cream that's coming off there now and that's telling me that we've got a nice layer on there and then we're going to place the stencil exactly where we want it and I'm going to start with the the green first so you just need to give your soap door a good old squeeze make sure that there's no lumps in it whatsoever because lumps will not work with this idea at all so I'm just going to break off little pieces of the soap door hold the stencil in place and then I'm just going to squeeze that soap door into place on the stencils and I'll try not to put too much on and just work it press your finger and twist that's what I find works for me and that I'll press see how this side is moving up now because you want the soap door to be fairly level with the stencil so I'm filling in the bottom part with the green because obviously the leaves would be green wouldn't they I mean very very time consuming job but it's just nice to do a different technique to what we usually do and 
and then you're going to take a knife and you're just going to scrape gently scrape over the top of that soap door so you're just scraping anything that isn't level you're scraping that off the top and just revealing the design under the stencil then I'm taking my rubbing alcohol again dip my finger in it and I'm just rubbing it over the top of that soap just to smooth it off somewhat so I do that as soon as I finish the green and now we're going to move on to the red and just squeeze squeeze that soap door into position pressing down and just moving your finger gently so I mean it's if you press it too hard you, you just end up scraping too much of the soap dough off which might happen usually happens with the when you start using the knife So we've got a lovely rose design here that just fits in nicely with our porcelain, royal porcelain inspired soap today. Then again, we're going to gently, gently scrape away the excess soap door. You see here, I've scraped a little too much away, so I need to put a little bit back in there. And then just scrape it again. As you can see these are some of the little issues that you're going to come up against when you're doing it again you can just dip your finger in that rubbing alcohol rub it over the top just get it nice and smooth and then gently peel it off to reveal that lovely design underneath and then some of the the edges might want to pop up a bit so you can just go around and make those nice and neat and then the reason I had the paint is because I just want to give the stems and the leaves a little bit of depth by adding a bit of mica on there And then the same with the red. And that's it. That's what our soap's going to look like. I hope you enjoyed that gorgeous little treat there. And there we have our Royal Standard Orleans Rose Soap. Smells delicious with the black raspberry and vanilla. I hope you're really enjoying 
this series of royal porcelain and we have one more to go and then that'll be the, it for the finale but I am going to do it again because it's been so well received so if you're a member of my channel uh, if you're not a member of my channel click the join button next to the subscribe button and I'll be putting out a community tab uh, for your suggestions on what you would like in the next series now the next series could be next year um, I'm not sure yet because the years fly over I can't believe we're nearly at the end of March already and before we know it another few months we'll be making Christmas stuff again so um, yeah uh, look out on the community tab and I'll post something there for your ideas on what porcelain or china you would like me to see me make. Alright everyone, as usual it's thank you for watching and I'll see you all very very soon for another video from Eden's Secret. Bye bye for now.